All right, so let's get right to it. So in order to make your custom checkpoint that is based on an object, that is based on a style, or that's based on a person, you can go to one of two places to do it really easily, even though it's going to cost you. We'll go through a free method another time. Even though there are tons of tutorials out there that, that show you all this, but I'm really just making this for people that I know so that they know how to do it. So first thing you want to do is gather your pictures. After that, you actually want to resize all the pictures. You go to this website right here, B-I-R-M-E dot net, and then you resize all of your pictures to 512 right now. 512 by 512. So you resize all your pictures. Let's see. And then once you have all those pictures saved. All right, so one way to create your custom model is to use Astria. And on Astria, you go to fine tune, you upload a certain amount of pictures. It automatically gives you, and this is Zimba, the same person from the last tutorial. So this gives, gives you prompts that it automatically does for you, depending on basically the time of year, they change it often. But it gives you prompts, as you can see right here. But that's not why we're here. We actually want to download the checkpoint model. So when we go to Azimba at the top here, checkpoint C, let me make it a little bit bigger. CKPT, you want to click that, download that, and that's the actual file that you need in order to always be able to recreate yourself or whatever thing. Let me show you some examples of that. They have a pretty good gallery over here, or oh, pretty good examples so this is an example of a car and this is that same car in different situations a hat that same hat in different situations so you can get real crazy with it the con they use that car as a concept they use that as a concept so that's pretty cool and then of course putting yourself up there which is really the most fun and then you can do different styles and stuff like that all right another place to do it is over here at openart.ai here you go to the photo booth you choose what you're going to create so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a a person and i'm not going to do that it's ten dollars over here but then i do that but i'm actually not going to do it there i'm actually going to do it over here since i have a couple of tunes already in the thing and i think here it might be five dollars all right so what I want to do here, and when you're selecting your pictures stuff, once you have all those pictures saved, then you can go ahead. And, so after you resize the pictures, then you can go ahead and select the one. So ideally, you want to select pictures that are of the same subject, but in different scenarios and close up though. So it's kind of weird. So I just get. So many decent pictures that the AI just do its thing. All right. So I usually go here under steps, have a many, and this is like common practice, but have a many. So I have 13, so I do 1300 steps, but you don't have to do it. So if it doesn't work out for you, you can blame me. All right. So it's 90 minutes. I go from there and then from there. I get another picture here. I'm able to go to it, click checkpoint, and I down and I download that file. And then now I'm able to and now I'm able to do whatever I want with that model. All right, so that should set you up. Good luck. Note: Remember, it's important to have a variety of photos with different angles, clothing, settings, and lighting. It's also a good idea to show your teeth a little and vary your expressions. Try by looking away from the camera sometimes and doing different activities. It's okay if not all the photos are of high quality. Thank you for watching the video. I sincerely hope you found it helpful in learning how to get the best checkpoint model possible using the Dreambooth method.